Obayashi no Maid-sama. Numero dos. Number two. Second trilogy. We're bringing it back. Now, honestly, I'm gonna be so transparent. I did not have a reason to make a video about this. Not because this series is keeping my channel afloat. Now, seeing the episodes that I just saw, I'm gonna need a few answers, an explanation of what the heck is going on. Now, for some of you guys who already know about Kobayashi no Maidsama season one, you guys already knew what the kind of roller coaster that we went on, kind of going around the series. We kind of, we, you know, you remember all the funny moments between um, Toru and obviously Kobayashi, the main protagonist of this said lighthearted anime. I really do like it. Honestly, I really did like the show. That's why I made a compilation of it, and that's why you guys loved it, because I wasn't really a part of it. But aside from that, I just want to give a little bit of intake on what I'm kind of feeling for season two, which honestly, I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that, like, I didn't expect what I expected season episode one. Let me explain. So episode one, you're kind of just introduced to Kobayashi and Antoru just kind of being themselves, you know, doing the funny little quirk thing. It kind of reminds me of like Family Guy. You know, you got you get like different types of like segments of the show where everything doesn't really pick off from like where it left off. And how I explain this is by like this. You know, in Family Guy, you, you watch like a funny quip and then it has a cutaway of something else. Kobayashi no Mates is kind of the same way where it's kind of like you're watching the show you're watching this this segment and then there's like a cutscene and then it goes on to something completely different the first cutscene you get is something super light hard I can't really remember off the top of my head now we're gonna go to the second one like broski we're introduced to a new dragon now like, before I was like oh this is cool we're gonna get another cool dragon like you know we got we got the, the 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 black butler looking guy and then we got the the girl with the two different scary eyes and then you get Toru and then you get the super cute little baby Kana you, you get all these characters now <laughs> you know when you're playing a video game and you get an option to kind of go and make like a character, you're, you're able to go and set the parameters of your character, like you get to make them tall, you can make them short, you can kind of do everything that you want to do for the character to kind of make them you. Interesting. Now, I would love to know who gave the animator the power to make this character. Can I get an explanation? We're, I'm not really mad about the height. I'm not mad about her overall look. Now, can you please explain to me, would you go and just spam the, 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 the option to make this girl's tits like like Mount Rushmore X2. Like, my guy, I'm gonna be honest. When I saw this, I thought it was so freaking weird. I was like, okay, you know what? Whatever. We all have our preferences. We all have whatever. They probably just made a mistake. Nope. They made that thing practical because you know what they did? She was using her fire breath. And the thing that literally like was like crazy to me is as she was charging up her attack. Her tits were just like, look at it. Yo, the, the thing is like siphoning up the energy in her tits and like, and, and, and just, she just spews it out. Now, your, your thing might be saying that, oh, what are you talking about? It's her chest, obviously. Stop thinking about that. It's, it's, it's like her titties. Shut up. You shut up. It's, shouldn't it come from like the stomach and then up? Not just... If you've seen an anime that, that released like literally last season before this season, it's called Usaki-chan. This character is like based off of like Usaki-chan schematics. Like she's short, she got big gazangas, like, like it's, they're literally the same entity, the same thing. I think that they should battle it out to see who's superior over the other. Obviously Dragon Girl might win, but hey, listen, Usaki-chan, she, she might have something going for her too. Now, to kind of hold off from that fact of this whole character, I don't hate her. I honestly, I think she's very charming. The episode that I seen, which was like episode three, the, I'm sorry, I'm like chewing gum. I'm trying to chew gum and talk. Have you guys ever tried to do that? I can't, I can't, like, there's still flavor in, I'll remember it. 
chewing gum and talk, talking, it, it does, I can't do it. All right, um, so <laughs> I feel like I'm a choke and die if I, you don't care, I'm sorry. But basically what I think that's very weird is just like, you know, damn, I lost my train of, fuck! Let me calm down, let me talk in a normal tone. I know I'm screaming, I'm sorry, tell me to calm the fuck down in the comment section down below. Look, I'm not I'm not mad about the overall character. I honestly think that she's kind of charming. Like, since I've seen her in, like, the later episodes, like, episode three. Like, no, I think it was episode two and three. It was this character development of the girl. And you kind of see what she did. You know, she's quirky, different. But at the same time, she's trying to find herself in the human world. Just like how Toru and, and Kana and all the rest of the characters kind of is trying to fix themselves with human society. Personally, I do really did like her implementation in the show. I think that she, she's now has fit herself in the realm of whatever they got going on can i just talk about some of the highlights i got when i first watched the first episode i'm gonna be honest who did they put for episode one that animation between the battle between freaking usaki chan and kobayashi that was just S tier. Like, like, listen, here, take this. You deserve it. That was S tier. It was, you dropped your crown. Because I'm gonna be honest, when I saw that whole thing, I was like, yo, this show is different. I'm thinking it's gonna take a whole action saga thing. I'm thinking that they hired the people who animated the Demon Slayer movie for that whole segment. Now, if they're gonna bring that back, I would love to see it. I don't know why, but Kobayashi, they just have a weird implementation where they kind of just put random S tier animation and the normalness. It's so good. Like, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it correctly. Let's hope that they put some more stuff like that, because I'm personally, yeah, I'm excited. I'm stoked. But what's going to come next? That battle during the first segment, that thing was sick. And now we're on to, like, the lightheartedness and funny moments and cute moments and stuff. And I'm honestly like, look, there's a lot of stuff going on. But all I have to say from watching, I think, the third episode, uh, like, from the time that I'm recording this, there's only three episodes out. It's pretty good. Honestly, I have to say it's pretty dang interesting. I just wanted to rant a little bit about like what the heck I just saw. I didn't expect to see Usaki-chan. I didn't expect for Kobayashi to randomly get a pee, pee You know, there was a lot of stuff that's going on. I'm not trying to spoil it. Just kind of giving you some of my, you know, ranting thing. I, I rant a lot. You guys should know this. I'm sorry for doing it. If you guys want to rant too, please write a comment down below. Because honestly, I do respond to comments. Honestly, and we're done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Honestly, oh snap, hold up. Nope, I forgot. I said I was going to shout out somebody from my last video. And honestly, you guys were, are smashing it right now. I'm actually, guys, listen, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I didn't expect you guys to actually go and comment and stuff. Even though I got a lot of dislikes on the video, that's okay. I still appreciate you guys anyways. So let's see what we got. Comment section, 43 comments. Yo, you guys are killing it. Okay, so... I'm just gonna go to that one comment that I saw before. I thought that was very nice. I really did appreciate it, man. Like, this comment literally made my day. Like, yo, you, you're you a legend. Okay, so shout out to Mr. Sir Ball. I know that you commented this in yesterday, but I had to go and I saw your comment. It really meant a lot to me. Your videos are awesome. Three fire emojis on a whole new level compared to other people who do anime videos. Please make more videos. And, you know, me being a simp and stuff, I, I had to go and comment back to my boy. I, you know, I was like, yo, damn, this man commented a whole paragraph. <laughs> so I said, oh my God, you don't know how much your comment means to me. Man, it really means a lot. I honestly just want to have fun talking about anime, but no one wants to start a conversation. In the comments, why'd I say nut? <laughs> uh, nut. Anyways, thank you so much for uh, for commenting. It's like 11 p.m. where I'm at. I'm going to sleep great tonight. You're the best. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Because I had a key word for you guys to say in the last video. It was Washanga. So if you comment that word in the comment section below, you already know I'm going to give you that shout out. So we're going down to the bottom section. And shout out to Gurum Burzida. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing your name right. One more person, you know, why not? Here we go. Oh, a month ago. Oh, man, this man's an OG. Here we go. He watched this video a month ago, and he liked his own comment, or someone else did. He, he commented, Washanga. And his name is 
zero t l purple hot shout out to you thank you so much for watching the video really do appreciate it okay i'm done shout out to done video's done thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it. and if you did please go and do me a massive favor and slap the like button and also subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know whenever your boy drops another video i really do appreciate you guys' time now i have another keyword for you guys the keyword today is going to be taco it's gonna be taco comic taco taco down below and then we're gonna go and make another video thank you guys so much for watching again and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video okay.